Hello, in this tutorial we will make the simple particle effect using Niagara. We will not waste any time and get straight into it. The first thing we need is to create a Niagara emitter, which we can find under FX. You will create a new emitter and use the fountain template. After that, give the effect a name and open it. First of all, we will have to delete gravity and drag. Now we will have to change some numbers. If it goes too fast, please just pause the video. We start at spawn rate and reduce it to 50. In initialize particle, we will change the size of the particle under sprite size to 25 and 40. Next we will have to change the velocity of the particle under add velocity in cone. There we will change the minimum and maximum velocity to 100 and 250. Under particle update we will now add a scale spread size. There we will set the key data of the first point to 1 and of the second point to 0 to make the sprites go smaller by time. To make the effect look more like a torch, we will add a color under update. There we will go to the drop down and select color from curve. And now you can select the colors you want the torch fire to have. Now we are done with the hardest part and we could already use this effect. But I want the particles to more look like polygons. And for that we need a mask, which we'll now make in Photoshop or a similar program. But if you want to use my mask, you can download it in the first link in the description. Once in your program, you have to make sure that the mask has a power of two size, that is 64 by 64, 128 by 128, 256 by 256, etc. The first thing we do is to color the complete background black. Then we create a new layer and select the polygon tool on the left side. Then we change our color to white and use the polygon tool to create this polygon. And that's all we need, now we can simply export the mask as a PNG. Back in Unreal, we first drag our own mask into the content browser. Then we create a new material and give it a name. We open the material up and change a few things on the left side under material. We change the blend mode to additive and the shading mode to unlit. Now we right click and create a particle color node and a texture sample parameter to denote. In this node we will have our mask. To do this we go on the left side and select mask and put our own mask into it. Now we create a multiply node. Let's put the white pins from particle color and our own mask into the multiply node. The output we drag into emissive color. Then we create another multiply node and drag RGB from our mask and the alpha channel from our particle color into the node. The output we drag into opacity. And that's it. Now we have a particle base for a mask and we can reuse it with other masks. Now let's save and go back. We'll right click on the material and create an instance. Now we go back to our Niagara effect and under sprite renderer we can change our material to the instance that we created. And now we have our sharp polygon style that we wanted. So first save and now if we want to place our effect in the world, we need a Niagara system, because we just can't drag the emitter out into the world. To create a system, we press right click and under FX we find Niagara systems. Here we create an empty system and give it a name. 
open the system up and at the bottom left hover your mouse over track. Then click on the materials and click on parents. There you will find our torch effect that we have created. Now save the Niagara system and return to UE4. Drag the Niagara system into the world and you will see the effect. And that's it. If this tutorial was helpful to you, consider subscribing or liking the video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.